And some late weekend showers and storms capping off what was a very warm and muggy weekend. And now we have completely done a 180. It is wonderful out there. And it's going to stay that way for a couple of days. And by me, by wonderful, I mean the, the humidity has come down. Now, if you like it steamy, we've got plenty of that coming later this week. Don't worry, there's going to be a shortage of that. Uh, but this will be a nice uh, little reprieve here from uh, what we were dealing with. There's the tail end of the showers that blew through, exited eastern Kentucky hours ago. Uh, they're following the front, those showers and high pressures ridging in. So we have a northerly flow coming around that high and behind the departing front. And these are the rainfall totals. It was about as hit or miss as we expected there. Some folks got soaked an inch or two in patches around uh, Louisville up to and even over an inch in Jackson. But over the last 24 hours, we didn't see a whole lot in the bluegrass. We ranged between about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch on the high end, but there were a number of locations didn't see much at all. Officially at Bluegrass Airport, as of the climate report, 0.13 inches of rain. We're still at a, an almost two and a quarter inch deficit. And the problem with drought is once you get into it, it's really hard to get back out of again because not only do you have to make up what you haven't picked up, you have to continue to add as, as well what you would normally see. So uh, you just start digging that hole and it just gets deeper. And here we are. Uh, you know, 0.13 inches is not going to even really put a dent in the drought. So our percentage of normal rainfall over the past 30 days, still all those yellows to orange is an indication where it's running really, really dry. And the next drought update is likely only going to see that drought expanding, getting worse because, I mean, look at this. Uh, through the rest of the week, not much in the way of rainfall chances. Now, there is some good news and some bad news. It's going to happen over the weekend, but the good news is it will be a chance for rain. And it won't just be a one-off like we saw coming in overnight. We could have a couple of rounds of showers and storms coming in over the weekend. So there goes the departing front. Here comes the approaching high. This is why the rain chance is pretty much shut off for the next few days. We've got high pressure ridging in and then hanging with us. Now, the only real change that we'll see is an uptick in the heat and humidity, especially starting around midweek into Thursday and then peaking right before the next round of active weather gets in here for the weekend. So we're in the upper 70s, mid to upper 70s. It's 77 Somerset, 75 in London. We've got 79 in Lexington and Richmond. And the dew point is a very important number. This has come down significantly. It's still in the low 60s down south. But look at that. We're in the 40s, 48 in Flemingsburg, 55 in Lexington. That is an indication that this drier air has taken over. And it's, uh, it's palpable. As soon as you go outside, it's so much more comfortable. And we will hang on to that for a couple of days. You'll see the green start to creep back in. That is an indication of muggier air. And that's right around Thursday or so, late Wednesday, Thursday, as the wind shifts over to the southwest as that high pushes east. So we'll get back into the hot and steamy stuff. Right there it is. In fact, we could see even highs in the low 90s by Thursday and Friday. We'll get back there later this week. So enjoy this. Highs likely either side of 80. We're showing 82 in Frankfurt, 79 in Winchester. Uh, that'll be the, the rough range for most folks, upper 70s to low 80s today. 77 up around Owenton and Williamstown. Uh, you pop out into eastern Kentucky, it's the exact same story. Upper 70s to low 80s. 78 in, front, in Flemingsburg to around the low 80s in Irvine and some low 80s out in our eastern mountain counties. You get down to the lake, beautiful day down there. Sunshine highs in the low 80s. There's that creep, the heat and the humidity returning, and then those showers and storms firing up just in time for the upcoming weekend.